Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another live stream on my channel. Just to let you private community members know, this is a public live stream. As always, if you guys have any questions you want me to answer, you want me to address, it's best to get them in the chat right now because I will be going down through the chat from the top to the bottom, meaning I won't have the chance to answer everybody's questions. So you have to be the first ones in the chat. You have to put it in immediately if you do want me to respond to your question. Now, to keep it plain and simple, we've had a significant pullback in the market. Altcoins continue to bleed. We saw significant dumps with many of our favorite altcoins and just the market in general. We did have a nice bounce back with the news surrounding the Hong Kong ETF which was good, but it does seem to be somewhat short-lived. If we look to the crypto bubbles, as you guys can see on my screen, only a few hours ago, or maybe 24 hours ago, it would have been all green. But now we're starting to see many red charts prop up. It's not just a sea of green, it's a mix sea of, sea, a mix sea of green and red. So some projects are now again becoming more bearish, coming to the downside. Some say the pump was short-lived. Now, in my opinion, I don't really care what happens at the end of the day. Me, myself, I'm a long-term investor. And if you guys are a long-term investor like me, don't be bothered too much with short-term price action. In the long run, everything will be okay. If you're a long-term investor like me, you're not losing money right now. You may be losing some profits, but that's okay because at the end of the day, what is a 10x? 20x, 30x. When we're here to make hundreds of Xs, it's it's negligible. It's it's meaningless. I don't mind going from a 20x to a 15x because I know if I hold, I could be up 100x in only a matter of months or even a year. So it's all about having that long-term vision. Now, it's great to see so many of you guys in here in the chat. I can see many questions flooding in, many questions down below. I can pre appreciate all the comments, guys. Don't worry, we'll get through them all. But let's have a look at a few charts while we're at it. So these are my top altcoins at the moment. AGI and Delisium for AI. Icon X and OTK for gaming. And I have a few other projects as well, but they're not disclosed yet. Don't worry, they will be disclosed somewhat soon. Now, in regards to the gaming, because we talk about gaming a lot on my channel, it's always wise to have a safer gaming play and a more higher risk gaming play because at the end of the day innately humans are more degenerate we want to go for lower market cap coins with the potential to still make a 50 to 100 x so it's good to diversify your portfolio for those of you guys looking for like safer plays in gaming now take the word safe with a grain of salt i'm talking about crypto safe you know there's a difference between nakamoto games and stocks but there's also a huge difference between Nakamoto Games and some crap coin that was released last week. So if you're looking for more safer gaming plays, we have products like Naka, Miria. If you want a more moderate play in the middle, that's where products like OTK come into play. And if you want a more DGEN play, lower market cap, 1 million, 2 million, ICNX is probably the best pick on the market. So in terms of gaming, that's probably what I would do to keep it plain and simple, in my humble opinion. Now, AI is an interesting one because... With AI, we have many terrible projects. Now, you can go safe, go with the big three, as some people are calling it now, Ajax, Fetch, Ocean, if you really want to. I like to include Tau in that list too. More safer AI plays. A bit more risk of AI would be projects like Delisium, projects like AI Tech, which many of you guys made parabolic gains with. Now, the issue of AI is when you want to go high risk in AI, the quality significantly drops. Like you go from like AI tech and AGI, which are very good, potential blue chips in the future. And then you go to projects like ecosystem projects on Tau, which are basically all just scams. Every single one of them is a scam. I don't think any of them are legit. So that's kind of the situation I'm in because I don't really think it's worth going DJ and AI. It's just too high risk. It's all like the people with like thousands of BRC20 coins. It's just not worth it. Like, there really is no safety nets in BRC20. Some would argue like 
Audi, maybe Track. But like, apart from those two, they're all just scam coins and just too high risk. But I'm interested to hear your thoughts, guys. If you guys have any old coins you want me to review down below, put them in the chat and we'll take a look. So let's have a look at what you guys are saying. I rambled on enough. I went on a bit of a rant there. <clears throat> is that the first question in today? It is. It's a review. No worries. What is your opinions on Fuse? Let's take a look at Fuse, my friend. 18 million a market cap, so very low a market cap in modern standards. 27 million FDV. So there isn't really that much dilution, you know, in comparison to the market cap. There's going to be little dilution. This has been out for a very long time, my friend, as you guys can see by the charts. This has been out since 2020. So by no means is this a new cryptocurrency. Keep this in mind because this affects many things. Marketing. Like you're trying to market the same coin to the same audience like three times in a row. It's, it's not really going to work well. It also affects retail's mindset in terms of why would I want to invest into an old dead coin? They're not really going to want to. Especially when there's a bunch of shiny new picks coming out all the time. Retail are going to cater more towards those. Now, if we take a look at the markets, it's been out for a very long time, so I'd hope it has good markets. To be honest, I'm not impressed because the best exchange here is between, well, it, it's probably HTX, but apart from HTX, it's Bing X and Mexi. That's not that impressive. You've been out since 2020, meaning we can basically count out Binance listing, Coinbase listing, crypto.com. That's just never going to happen. If it was going to happen, it would have happened. So those are out of the picture. So we're not really going to get any better exchange listings. So what is the actual project? Let's have a look. So it's a ZK EVM. Okay. Now what this didn't have last cycle, but does have now is this idea of ZK EVM layer twos and scaling solutions. That wasn't really a narrative last cycle. Matic boomed towards the end of the cycle as the main layer two. It wasn't a narrative last cycle. Scaling solutions and layer twos were not a narrative. It was mainly layer ones, killing Ethereum. So this does have the narratives now. So that is a good thing about this project. It has the narratives. ZK based, which is a good scaling solution. Again, relate to Ethereum, which is also very good. And it's a layer two. To be honest, my friend, that's the only good thing I can see about this. It has the correct narratives and it's somewhat low in markup and no dilution. See, but my only issue is <clears throat> it is an 18 million in market cap. <clears throat> it went to around 270 million market cap last cycle. What's that, like a, a 20x away to all-time high? Keep in mind, projects aren't guaranteed to go back to all-time high. And the all-time high is only 20x away. We can count out billions. That's not going to happen. But 20x is the all-time high. Is that possible? Only time will really tell. But the main things that would make it 20x, if you believe it's possible, would be the lower market cap, not much dilution, and the narratives. If you believe those three things are good enough to make it go back to all-time high, then by all means, you can invest at your own will. Hey, Seth, thanks for the stream in advance. Appreciate that, my friend. How do I pronounce your name? Ivan, Ivancho, Ivancho. <laughs> I apologize if I butchered your name. SY, it's a pleasure to see you. Alt's giving an opportunity to buy. Absolutely. Look, guys. I know you don't want to see this, but this is the kind of chart you want to see. All this red. Because this means you can buy. And too many people are too concerned with the immediate future. I call it... What did I call it in my private community? Chronic crypto syndrome. It, I believe <laughs> crypto makes everyone develop ADHD. And have a mindset of needing everything now, 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 now. Imagine you could have like six extra months to accumulate. Let's say you take 10% of your salary and put it into crypto. 
you have six months of salary that you can put into crypto that could potentially go on to do a 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 1000 X. Isn't that amazing? Why do you want it now? Like what's going to change in six months? It's not as if, you know, you're going from 50 years old to 70 years old. We're talking about six months here. So the ability to accumulate for longer should make you happy. You can put more money in the market. You can make more money. And that is the goal to make more money, right? So be happy when you see red. I'm happy when I see red. I'm excited. I want to buy. And I am buying. Anastasia. Hello to the best crypto family. Are you the Anastasia that's been in the group for a very long time? Like the Greek Anastasia? I believe you're Greek. If so, let me know down below, my friend. I'll make you mod if you're not already mod. Seth, how are you doing? What are your thoughts on AGC on CoinGecko, please? I'm doing very good, my friend. I believe we've reviewed this one a few times. Is this Ar Argo Coin? Yeah, Argo Coin. We have reviewed this one a few times. Now, I don't remember my immediate opinions about this cryptocurrency, but I don't want to re-review it because I've reviewed it a lot of times. But what I will say is based on the charts, it, it does look like a decent time to accumulate. You can see it's had a significant retracement. On any of your favorite projects are down 70 to 80%. It's probably worth accumulating. Now, this has not been out for a very long time, so we can excuse the fact that it's on limited exchanges. That's okay. FDV is pretty high, meaning we need to know the vesting to decide whether or not it's worth it. It being on Matic is bullish. We like when products are built on other, on other blockchains, especially ones that are much cheaper, as people are more willing to buy them because there's not ridiculously high gas fees which is also good, but it's a decentralized AI project. Okay, so it has the right narrative. All I would say, my friend, is find out the valuation. If it's ridiculously low market cap with a good vesting schedule, then maybe as a trade, it may be worth it. Hey, Seth, how many coins to hold max per budget bracket? 1k 10k 50k 100k for example okay this is a great question now my opinion may differ to other people's opinion just to get this clear i'm a high risk long-term investor and when i say high risk i mean i'm willing to take high risk to make high reward i'm not just taking high risk for the sake of it that is what i am a high risk long-term investor so what i would do if I had 1K, was invest into one project. Obviously, it'd be a great project, ideally one for my private community because you know it's gonna be good, wink, wink. Check out the private community. If I had 10K, I would probably only invest into two coins. If I had 50K, I would probably invest into three to eight coins three to eight coins, right? Ideally somewhere in the middle. If I had 100K, I wouldn't go more than 10. I wouldn't go more than 10. That's what I would do ideally. Now it's a higher risk strategy, but it will lead to more reward. And I'll tell you why. If you had 20 coins, 30 coins, you need all of them to pump a significant amount for you to make the same if you had five coins and one of those coins pumped. It's like you would need like 10 coins to do a 2x, right? To get the same amount of gains as one coin, you know, doing a 2x. Uh, uh, so having less coins will lead to you making more money. But the issue with having less coins is you can make more money, but you can lose more money. If one of those coins tank, then a large margin of your portfolio tanks too which is why you must invest into the best. You must invest into quality. But that's my answer. Let me summarize that. 1K, one coin, 10K, two coins, 50K. I'll go for three to eight coins and 100K, no more than 10. 10 pound donation by Khaled. In Seth, we believe, we are with you. I'm just going to like accumulate all these donations from you, Khaled, and just give it back to you at this point. You're such a G, my friend. Such a G. Do you think Velo, Velodrome on Coinbase? Let's have a look.
or is it too high a markup to produce substantial returns? So it's a DeFi project at 120 million on optimism. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like the fact that it's on optimism. I don't like the fact that it's DeFi. I don't like the fact that it's been out for a very long time as well. And in 120 million in market cap, a 10X is 1.2 billion. How many DeFi projects last bull market touched billions? How many? Not many. So there has to be something phenomenal about this project for it to completely and utterly exceed expectations. I don't believe it's going to be an optimism coin, my friend. I'm going to be very honest with you. How long has it been out for? Okay, it is on Coinbase. Now, that is the bullish aspect behind this because it's on Coinbase, meaning the normies will invest into this at some point if enough people talk about it and generate hype around it. But also, it could be a coin that could potentially get removed from Coinbase in the near future due to the inactivity or maybe lack of trading. Because 13 million volume, it's decent in proportion, but it's probably mostly trading bots. So my thoughts is, I wouldn't invest. I'm not going to invest myself. But if you are going to invest, understand that at 100 million, not many coins actually reach billions in terms of DeFi. Therefore, there must be something really special about this coin. If you can tell me what that is, then I'd reconsider. I see next great, great project, without a doubt. I don't think people realize. I see next is a great project. It really is for, for, for many reasons, right? If we take a look at the project, not only is it ridiculously lower market cap, let's go on to um, crypto rank actually, they have more information. You know, not only is it ridiculously low in market cap, you know, what we're, we're talking about, what are we talking about? 1.71 million. I feel like I'm in the bear market, you know, back in 2022, November time, buying into these gems at one. I feel like I'm buying Nakamoto games again. When I was buying Nakamoto games at what, sub 5 million in market cap, even lower, 2 million, whatever it was. It was so long ago now, I don't even remember, like two years ago. That's what it feels like if I see next. Because you don't get gems this low market cap. Now, a few people that are new to crypto or may not be that educated in crypto would immediately look, look at the FDV. Seth, but how can you say this could 50 to 100x? Look at the FDV, it's 67 million. And do you know what FDV even means is what I would say. The fully diluted valuation. Will it be fully diluted? in the next one to two years? The answer is no. And the question is, well, how much dilution will there be? Is it significant amount of dilution in which the possibility for a 50 to 100x is out of the question? No, it's only around 5x dilution. It's like imagining ICNX right now is at around like, what, like 7 million a market cap. But that's in like two years time. It could 100x within the matter of three months. It could 100x in five months, six months. Therefore, it may only be two times dilution. And when it's two times or even five times, we're still talking about sub 10 million here. This is a micro cap. It's in the gaming narrative. It's unique. It's played to earn. And the chart is phenomenal. Right, look how well this is holding up. Very bullish price action, forming higher lows, as you guys can clearly see by the charts. Let, let's head over to trading view, actually. Why are we on crypto rank? <clears throat> as you guys can see here, we had a scam wick down, which was this. Got eaten up. Look how fast that scam wick got eaten up. And not only did it get eaten up, we pumped after. We, we pumped after it got eaten up from six, 60 cents all the way up to 80 cents. That just shows you the interest. Right now we're consolidating in a range, as you guys can clearly see. And at some point we're gonna break out. Break out to the upside, as we did here. Pump, consolidation, market was bearish, okay, we understand why it dipped. Hit a strong level of support, which I believe was the, yeah, 0.5. Some would argue maybe Dow's theory is playing out there. Uh, not technically, we have to move the fibs for it to play out. I believe it's a 382 on the fibs if I redrew it. The 382. So we hit the 382. 
They made a pump, and now we're consolidating. Dip's getting eaten up. And now we're to the consolidation range. Now, money flow isn't starting to increase yet. Right now, we're just stagnant because we're consolidating, waiting for market conditions to improve. Phenomenal project. Phenomenal. Hi, G. Would you swap lip for something else if you had it? I already have OTK and secret Patreon pick. <laughs> if you have the secret Patreon pick and you have OTK, Lit Labs isn't really needed. You don't need it. Now, the reason I wouldn't just say sell Lit Labs like other YouTubers would do when they're trying to pump their bags is because I understand that gaming is down right now. Gaming is down more than the general market. And you know what happened when we saw a glimpse of bullishness in the market? Gaming was actually the first one to pump. We actually saw the volume of gaming increase. <clears throat> Meaning at some point, the gaming coins are going to take off and they're going to move. And I don't know, nor does anyone know, which one of those gaming coins are going to do the best. And for all I know, it's going to be Lit Labs. So I would recommend you definitely have my picks first, because we all know they're the best, they've performed the best. But I wouldn't necessarily just remove Lit Labs. Because you never know, it could do very well. Especially if it's been beaten up loads. Let's have a look at the charts. Is Lit Labs being murdered? Yeah, it did get absolutely crucified. Let's have a look. Poof. Yeah, it did. 75%. That's fine. Kind of looks like a double button there. Dun, dun. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, Seth, can you please let me know your thoughts on ZK, Poly, Hedera? Thank you for all your alpha. Again, this is one that we have talked about here before, but let's have another look at it. Okay, that's if my coin gecko will let us have a look at it. It doesn't want to. Oh, Hedra. I spelled it wrong. Okay. First thing I'm noticing off the bat, valuation is ridiculously high, 1.5 billion. I mean, the most important thing right now is what the market cap is and obviously the amount of circulation which is needed to determine what the market cap is and the vesting schedule. When are those tokens going to be released? Because this is a ridiculously high FTV. If that vesting is fast, this is not worth it. Now, it's on all the best exchanges, meaning they are heavily funded. They have money. They're not brokies, which is good. You actually want that. You don't want any of these fair launch brokey projects. Oh, yes, I know Casper. I know Tau. There's a few exceptions out there. But by and large, you want the projects which are funded because they can get listed on Coinbase. They can get listed on Binance. It's not going to take 10 years to do so. You can actually have that within this cycle. The team don't have to dump all their tokens on you for it to get listed or for them to develop or for them to pay the developers. So you want the funded projects. Don't be controlled by these decentralization advocates get you a funded project anyways i digress let's have a look empowering and droppability and computation via zk so it aims to how do you aim to empower and droppability and computation that kind of sounds like a computing project like a cache you can't power from nothing do we operate a node do we mine is it proof of work is it proof of stake what is it it's a modular blockchain too. So it is a scaling solution. We already know this based on the ZK. Intropable scaling solution, which is also modular. Okay. Back to our Binance Labs. Very good backers. Aminica Brands through Polychain, Hashkey. Some very good backers in this project. Yeah, look, my friend, all you need to tell me if you already know it off the top of your head, I'm not going to spend the whole live stream trying to find it. Tell me two things. Number one, tell me where to find the vesting. And number two, tell me what the market cap is and I'll tell you if it's worth it. Casper. Casper's very good, my friend. 
All the best. All the best to you, my friend, too. Okay, what are your thoughts on the crypto market right now? What do you think? What are we going to have? When are we going to have an altcoin season? Summer, possibly. Look, I say this on my private webinars a lot. I'm going to say it here, too. No one knows anything. Anyone that claims to know anything is lying to you. No one knows when it's going to happen. And the only reason people get some predictions right is because ultimately there are three outcomes in crypto. Pump, dump, or consolidation. So if you take away consolidation, it's pump and dump. You have, a th you have a 50% chance of getting it right what happens in the market. And they act like geniuses. No one knows what's going to happen. And the reason I'm saying this is because all you can really do, doesn't matter what my answer is, doesn't matter what any anyone says, all you can do is control your reaction to the answer. Like if I told you right now, altcoin season is gonna be in a month's time, what are you gonna do? First of all, you're not gonna sell, you're gonna hold. Second of all, you're probably gonna go and work extra hard to get even more money into the market so then you can make more money. Let's say I told you, oh yeah, we're gonna dump, 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 dump for the next like three months, four months, five months. You may consider selling. Now, ultimately, no one knows what's going to happen. But what I will tell you is being out of the market is far worse than potentially being down 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70% on your investments. Because if we pump and you're not in the market, you could miss parabolic gains, 5Xs, 10Xs, 20Xs. Maybe I stay in the market and I'm down 50%, 60%. I'm a long-term investor anyways. I know it's all going to pump in like, you know, one year's time, six months' time. Makes no difference. So all you can do is control your reactions. And what I would say to you, my friend, is I cannot justify in any realm of existence selling out of my positions right now. So to answer your question simply, I would say you can't. <laughs> That's my answer. Would you buy AI Tech or Tectum or split in half? I'd buy AI Tech and Tectum, but there's also other projects I would buy. Some people think I'm just in AI Tech and Tectum. No, there's like five projects which I haven't talked about publicly that I'm buying. So you just gotta be in the private community to know. <clears throat> I want more time to accumulate those projects. I know, I'm not an idiot. You guys aren't idiots too. Some YouTubers pretend as if you guys are idiots. If I start talking about a project, a lot of you guys will probably buy in and I'll pump. I don't want to do that because I want time to accumulate my projects. And I don't want you guys to pump my bags. I'd rather than pump organically. It's all like AGI. You see this topic right here, Delisium. If you were in my private community before the AI trend, you would have made a 20X on Delisium. I never told you guys about Delisium. I never mentioned it on YouTube. I never even told you as a buy alert. You had to be in the group to find out this project. I didn't want you guys to pump my bags. I wanted it to grow organically and just pump to the moon because I know I pick great projects. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's many projects I'm buying right now. There's many projects I would buy, not just AI Tech and Tech. But yes, you can buy those two. They're both great. Obviously not financial advice. Will you sell most of it, not all of your Bitcoin into some alts? Yeah, 100%. I'll sell every single cent of my Bitcoin into altcoins. The question is when? Not yet is my answer. Hello, Seth. How are you? From Amanda. I'm doing very well, my friend. Is this the same Amanda in the private community? Also, how do you view Stacks as Bitcoin Layer 2? Stacks is like the market mover for Bitcoin Layer 2s. You know how like Tau moves and AI projects move? Or like FET and AGIX move, then AI projects move? Or Immutable X move, then gaming projects move? Stacks is the same thing for Bitcoin Layer 2s. As an investment itself, I don't think it's that good. You're not going to make many X's. But in terms of tracking it, it's wise because you can see if a narrative is going to move. AI Tech Shows today, AI Tech Marketplace, please look on it. AI Tech Shows today, the AI Tech Marketplace, please look at it. Should we pull it up? If you want, we can pull it up. Let's have a look. AI Tech up 12% today. 
what you want to be looking for, guys, is projects which bounce back well in the market. If you go to projects like, we know they like, they're, they're back down, but if you go to projects like AI Tech, take a look at this. It, it bounced back and it held well. Right, AI Tech had a what? Let's have a look from the bottom to the top. A 55% pump. Like everyone is crying about the downside. I get it. But we only needed another 100% pump. And everyone who was in losses here would all be recovered. Only 100%. That's it. Everyone's crying about this. Oh, it's... Everyone's crying about... Oh, I wasn't sharing my screen there, but look. Everyone is crying about the dump. AI tech recovered to the market very well and had a 50% pump. Very well. That's very good. Shows a lot of strength. It means people are waiting on the sidelines waiting to buy when they thought they thought the market was green they thought the market was bullish they thought we were going to pump the bottom is in hong kong etf and then everyone bought in this is what you want you want projects like this because these are going to moon where the market actually turns bullish but one thing i was saying was everyone gets so fearful of the dump oh it's down huge it's down big but to recover all your funds if you did buy the exact top before it dumped, you only needed another hundred percent pump, another two X, which is tiny. So all this turmoil, all this negativity, oh my God, everything's dumping down, would be recovered so fast, so easily, so quickly. So we all need to relax, be more stoic in the market. Anyways, let's have a look at the AI tech marketplace. I got distracted there, my friend. Um, services, maybe? Let's have a look. Yeah, you're going to have to let me know where it is, my friend. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> spend 30 minutes searching for it, but good to see AI Tech's developing. Yeah, Bella in the house. Hello, Bella, Mr. Bella. My brother, thoughts on Hash AI, DEAI, or Blender on CoinMarketCap? <clears throat> Let's have a look at one of those, which have I not heard of? I haven't heard of Blender. Coin Market Cap, you did say. Let's have a look. Let's see. Notifications. Block, block. Anyways, Blender. It's not coming up, my friend. Am I spelling it wrong? Is it a oh, Blender with no E? Okay. Blender Network. <clears throat> so 83 million in market cap. Price action has been very good. It's had a retracement, which is normal. Down around like 50%. Not too bad. 80 million in market cap. All tokens in circulation. Okay, so first thing. If all the tokens are in circulation, some people think, oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Not necessarily. It could be bad. The most important thing to look in regards to tokenomics right now would be the token allocation. That's the important thing right now. If all the tokens are in circulation, the token allocation is very important. Oh, I have looked at Blender before. I remember this project. The token allocation is very important because we don't want them to have, we don't want the team, early investors, people with the ability to sell or would want to sell in a fast or whenever they want to, let's just say, to have too much of the allocation because they have all their tokens right now. Okay, let's see. Blender token. Give us the breakdown of the allocation. Search it here. Allocation. Bunch of hogwash not giving us the token allocation. But yeah, I'd say, my friend, make sure the token allocation is sound. Make sure... We don't have a very high mountain team and early investors because they can sell right now if they want to if all the tokens are in circulation. Now, based on the project conceptually, it's in a very good narrative. GPU computing, they tend to do very well. We've seen several projects, Nosana, Render, Dynex, Claw, all go parabolic. OPSEC, <clears throat> all go parabolic. So it is in a great narrative. So yeah. Price action's nice. I have looked into this project before. I forgot I did. Project is decent. But it's look at the allocation, my friend. 
Markets are fine too, yeah. Decent overall for a quick answer to your question. Okay, so let's stop some coin reviews. I'm not going to just sit here and do coin reviews all day. Let's see if there's any questions I can just talk about and answer. I love you, Crypto Seth. I love you too, my friend. Hello, the most knowledgeable person in the crypto space. I'm the wisest person. I've been doing this for a very long time. You know, been in crypto since like 2017. You know, again, a lot of these guys are just coming to the market now and pretend as if they've been there for a very long time. They don't know what they're talking about. That's how you know they're freaking out as if we all didn't expect there to be a pre-arving dump. But then when there's a pre-arving dump, everyone's crying. Like, come on. What did you expect to this to happen? We all sat here and said, look to the, oh, you should have. Look to the charts historically. Oh, look, we've had a pre-arving dump every single time. Guess what? We're pre-halving. What's happening? We're dumping. What a surprise. This was meant to happen. I expected it to happen. So we all need to control our emotions. Be stoic, everyone. Stoicism. Can AI tech 50x on current price? Look, AI tech understand how crypto work. They know how to market. They know how to promote the cryptocurrency. They're probably going to get listed on Binance as well. They have tons of funding to market too. That's why they're on basically every single exchange, which is very good. No one can predict what's going to happen, but it is also a great narrative. 50x, it's not impossible. I'm not going to sit and tell you it's going to 50x, but what I will say is it's certainly not impossible. Based on the market cap, based on the narrative, based on the whole project itself, it's certainly possible. Will we see another big dip to take some long positions? Um, I don't think we're going to see a big dip. I think we'll... See a dip and probably a long, boring consolidation period, but what a big dip. Injective $300. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love Injective at $300. That'd be a 300x for me. That'd be great. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's going to happen, though. It's $300 a 10x for me. Oh, yeah. Well, $300 is possible. $300 is certainly possible for Injective. What's that market cap like? 20 billion? Yeah, that's possible. Great tokenomics on Injective as well. Some of the best tokenomics in crypto. Why Tet so weak? Tet wasn't weak. It was consolidating when the whole market was dumping, just trading sideways. And then the market took a really fearful dip. And that's when it dipped. It took a literal war and people believing that World War Three was going to happen to cause Tectum to break out of its long consolidation period. That's what it took. That's strength, not weakness. ICNX over Metados. Well, ICNX has less dilution than Metados. Metados has, I believe, over 10x dilution. I mean, the mark cap's technically 10x higher by the heights of the bull market. Whereas um, ICNX has around 5x dilution, so half of that dilution which arguably means it has to try half as less to perform just as good. Now, in terms of the project, it's unique. You have never seen a project like this before in crypto. It's play to earn. Real life partnerships. It's not just another, another scammy crypto. It's real life partnerships. And the literal sandbox founder, not the sandbox assistant, not the cousin of a brother of someone who worked at sandbox. The founder of sandbox loves ICNX promotes it on the Sandbox Twitter, and has his own esports team in it. Metados, eh, look, it's new. Website looks good. That's about it for Metados. Compared to ICNX, it's a no-brainer. Best private community in crypto. I agree with you, my friend. I, I fully agree with you. Look, the market right now is bearish. Just join this community, and I'll put you straight. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not there to be, I'm going to be honest, guys. How my private community works. You get to talk to me, of course, right? I'm always there. Answer all your questions if you have any. But I'm not necessarily there per se to be a friend, right? I'm, I'm not there to be a friend. I'm there to help you make money, right? <laughs> That's the goal. Some, some communities, you know, they, they just, too much hogwash going on, too much off-topic jargon. Like the goal is to make money and that's the goal of the group. Nothing else. If you want to make money, join the group. And ultimately long-term makes you the most money. 
So check out the community, guys. We have buy alerts when I do decide to buy and I only buy great projects. We do trade alerts as well. We do private sales as well, if any other community has that, which I don't think they do. And many other things, private streams, of course, and loads of other things. In fact, yeah. You can join on WAP2 and pay in crypto for those of you guys who want to pay in crypto. Very easy to do. See how it says crypto? You press on that and you can pay in crypto if you want. Yeah, definitely check it out, guys. I'm only talking about it because someone mentioned it down below. I don't want to shill my community all day. I don't want to be that guy, that Patreon shiller. But he mentioned it, not me. So don't come at me. Come at this guy. Come at the van, whatever his name is, the Van Clive. The Vance Life. <laughs> Smash the likes, 100%. Port 3 Network Thoughts. Yeah, this has been on my watch list for months. Yeah, I like it. It's good. But certainly very high risk. Coin to pick in this dip. I could just tell you coins to pick in this dip, but I'd rather tell you to look at the charts and see what actually has strength. Like AI tech, for example. I would say pick up AI tech in the dip because look at the chart. It had strength. This reacted very well to the dip. Not everything did. Right? Not everything reacted well to the dip. Like take a look at Miria. Miria dumped. Pumped and then dumped again. Like look at the projects that held very well. Those are the ones you want to look at. So that's what I'll tell you, my friend. But to give you a simple answer, it's very hard to go wrong with any of these top picks, I'd say. But, yeah. Honest opinion of your portfolio. Full honesty, my friend. You want that? Okay, let's see. ZF, good. Casper, good. Veracity, terrible. AI Tech's good. LineWire. Let me double check this so I'm not thinking it's something it isn't. Very high risk. I would probably remove OTK. Good, but I'd go light on OTK. OFN for AI exposure. Good, but be very careful. Pepe, I'm not into meme coins. Neon has way too much dilution. For Neon to 100x at the height of the bull market, it has to be like 100 billion a market cap. Something ridiculous. Mint layer is okay, but the CEOs are scammers who are buying Lambos, but it should still do well. And GFAL. GFAL have not marketed. They don't understand how crypto works at all. So let me summarize that. ZF, good. Casper, good. AI Tech, good. OTK, good. But go lighter. Ofen, good. I'd go lighter too. Pepe, I'm not into mean coins. I would remove personally. Neon, dilution's way too much as a long-term investment. Only as a short-term investment for Neon. Minlay is good, but the team are scammers who just spend all the money. But Minlay should do very well. And GFAL, they just don't understand how crypto works. There's way better gaming projects. Been watching your stream for a long time now, but due to our different time zones, I never got to watch you live finally tonight. That's amazing, brother. Great to have you here. Ishak. Is that how I pronounce your name? Ishak? Ishak? I know you don't feel GFAL, but I said, look, it's not because I don't feel GFAL. I was bullish on GFAL. When it first released, when it showed promise. But over the last six months, what has GFAL actually done? Let's all be honest here. GFAL had the GFAL chain development. You guys probably don't even know this. They were meant to build a layer one. It's not even here. They haven't developed, they haven't marketed, they haven't done anything. Some say, well, that means you should be buying it. Well, at the end of the day, losers keep losing and winners keep winning. That's how crypto works. It takes a big catalyst to stop a loser from losing and causing it to win. Big catalyst. Very big one. Are you going to be here for the next bull run? Possibly. Look, there's a high probability I stay around for maybe one more cycle. I'll probably be less active, but I'll probably be here for one more cycle, maybe. Zeus and BVM got strong pullbacks. Um, I think Zeus is too highly valued to make it worth it, personally. But there's a lot of good sentiment. Zeus as a trade might be decent. BVM is good out of a sea of trash. Because there isn't any other good Bitcoin scaling solutions other than 
mint layer and tectum bvm is just our next bet but it is high risk team are a bit dodgy in my opinion Will Israel launch the goddamn rocket so we can buy the dip? We're so chronically in crypto. And we want a war to start just so we can buy at lower prices. <laughs> you have chronic crypto syndrome, my friend. This is my new term. Spread the word. Chronic crypto syndrome. CCS. NACA showed stronger than, than Mira. Of course. NACA was always stronger. I'm up. Let me have a look. I was up before the dip, 61x on Nakamoto games. Naka has no dilution and it's deflationary. Of course it's better. Naka's better than Mirror, without a doubt. Good time to buy massive dip on market caps or play safe on mid caps. Both. You don't have to be doing one thing. Remember this, guys. You could be buying the dip on market caps and also hedging it with safer mid caps. Come on, guys, let's get some questions that aren't core interviews. I did core interviews for the first like 45 minutes. Let's, let's get some like questions in it, boys, that are not core interviews. Don't worry, I'll do core interviews next time I'm live, maybe in not tomorrow, but the day after. Tomorrow will be a webinar in my group. <laughs> it's only core interviews. Funny. Brother, I'm trying to get back in the Discord. Send your DM, please help. Uh, don't send me a DM. Open a ticket if you haven't already and just be patient. I think I already saw your ticket. Still thankful for 3X in my portfolio January to March. No worries, brother. I appreciate it. This is what people don't understand. Like, yeah, our portfolios are down. But my portfolio isn't down in terms of my actual money. It's just down in profits. Like, I'm never down. It's like impossible for me to be down on my investment. I'm just down on profits. When you make a 33X in AI tech and now, oh, I'm only up 17X, whoop de doo <laughs> It's like, come on, it's going to go back up. Just needs another 100% pump to recover. GFAL still good. Um, There's better gaming produce than GFAL. Way better ones. All-time high in late 2025 or long cycle theory. To be honest, I think both are very probable. Both are probable. Though the vesting schedule isn't really a concern because um, AI tech is deflationary and they aim to burn 50% of the supply. So the dilution gets counteracted by the deflationary aspect. Casper went up 200x in the bet. How do you keep people to buy? He's saying, how do I keep telling people to buy? Number one, I don't have a single video on Casper on my channel. So don't accuse me of doing something I'm not doing. Number one. Number two, this argument is very, very weak. It's like saying to people, you shouldn't have bought Matic last cycle because Matic did 100x. After Matic did 100x, guess what it did? Another 100x. You would have been a fool to not buy after it did 100x because it did another 100x because the games don't matter. It's the timing. At the end of the day, Casper will do something. Maybe Casper won't 100x, but it's not as if it's going to do nothing. If people tell, if other YouTubers, Archetype, Crypto Archie, even Crypto Galaxy, even Cpril, tell you to buy Casper, it's not the end of the world because, yeah, okay, let's say they're saying it's going to go to $10. They may be giving outlandish price predictions, but it's not as if Casper is going to dump. It's probably going to pump. Yeah, it may only do a 10x, 5x. It's not the end of the world, is it? <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's my answer to your nonsensical question. If that is what you did mean, if you didn't, if you weren't like accusing me of telling people to buy, then okay. Ten dollar donation. This young man has changed the lives of a lot of people in a very short span of time, including mine. 
If you are in crypto and not on his Patreon slash Discord, you are literally missing everything cyborg. Let's just leave this here for a second, guys. Let's all just pray. <laughs> Everyone, make sure you guys check out the community. At the end of the day, who cares what I say? I could be a, you know, a car salesman, right? But ultimately, the community speaks for itself. I've been doing that. I've had my Patreon group for two years now. This isn't a new group. We're not a bunch of like newbies who just enter the market, right? This group's been around for two years. It's experienced a group of OGs. Check it out or I will come to your house and give you a big kiss and force you to join the group. Anyways, let's see the questions. Okay, you've spammed it like 10 times for me to review, review Duel. I'll review Duel if you answer one question. Did you know Duel was Rainmaker Games? I'll wait for your answer. I bought ICNX at 0.008. So it's at 0.7 now. Yeah, not bad of a dip. My friend, it's at a million dollars a market cap. It's going to be volatile. It'll go up 10%, down 10%, up 10%, down 10%. But you'd be a fool to sell a gem that's a million a market cap that could 100x and only be at 100 million a market cap. Exercise patience, my friend. Do you think we'll still buy eight tokens for solving? We'll buy... I'll be buying many coins in my group post halving because projects tend to release post halving. Most of the best performing cryptos of last cycle released post halving. They didn't actually release pre halving. That's the funny thing. That's the funny thing. People think like the bull runs over when most of the great projects release post halving, not pre halving. The great projects are yet to come. Some of the top performing gems of the cycle are yet to come. Seth, are you out of karate? Nope, I am not out of karate. It's right here on Great Picks. Okay. <laughs> Altcoin season 2025, Blue Horseshoe told me. Pump the likes at the Kid Mad Alpha. Guys, I would appreciate it if you guys could smash the like button down below. Like I say to you guys, if I get like a ton of likes, I will probably go live more often. If I look at the likes and it's at, it's not even at 100, why would I even want to go live? Like we're at 94. Like I may as well just, you know, never go live ever again. You know, what's the point? Like not even 100 people like the stream. Like, come on, guys. Can Miria and AGI both do 40x from here? Um... AGI has a better chance than Mirror to 40x. If any of those are going to 40x, it's definitely going to be AGI, not Mirror. But I think it's optimistic for both of them to predict that. Yeah, I have heard of runes. For those of you guys who are asking, I can see many runes comments down below. What do you think about playable? Not very bullish on playable, but as one of the only Avalanche coins, it probably will do decently well. But I think there are better picks out there in the market that I'd rather buy in gaming. Okay, guys, we are gonna. Let me just see if there's any more comments down below. Smash like button, guys. This guy deserves to be. Yeah, just smash like button, boys and girls and others. Just smash the like button, guys. Please, please. No, I'm joking. You don't have to smash the like button. Only smash it if you like it. Seeing how gaming wave didn't come yet, our secret Patreon pick will pull another AI tech and AGI. Even more X is like 500 to. 100x, probably. Yeah, I agree with you. It should do very well. But stop leaking the fact that we have a secret Patreon pick. Like, you're hyping it up too much. Some people might FOMO into the group. It's not good. Manta is a bad layer one. Manta is not a layer one, my friend. Manta's a layer two. So I agree with you. It's a bad layer one because it's not even a layer one. Metados and Space Mesh. 
So two of Crypto Archie's picks. Um, I just think there's better alternatives. But I can see his logic in thinking why they would do well. But I just think there's better projects. Remember when people thought Doge was not to produce gains? Yeah, you never know. That's the, that's the thing. I will never say that won't pump. I would just say based on the elements of the project, it's unlikely to pump. Because you never know in crypto. Because ultimately, some random Twitter shiller could shill this coin that I said shouldn't pump. That is terrible. And he knows it's terrible. And, makes it, and, and he could make it pump. You never know. Is there any sub-million dollar market cap gems? ICNX, if you're in my private community, you could have bought ICNX at 500k. And there might be a gem I'm buying soon, potentially, or trading soon. Who knows? Who knows, really? Who knows? A lot of people lose money because there's misinformation, crypto, Twitter, many people shilling. 100%, my friend. I don't buy many coins. Why would I? Gems don't come often. I might only buy one gem a month in my group. But you know that one gem I buy is very good long term. Bro, just this guy. Okay, guys, we are going to wrap up the live stream here. We are going to wrap up the live stream here, guys. Hopefully, you all had an amazing day today. Tune into the next one, which is probably not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. All have an amazing day. Goodbye.